Yo, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about Unit 4 in Science. So, Unit 4 is about mixtures, elements, and compounds. So, let's go over them. And today I bring a special guest here. Hey guys, it's Adrian and I'm Aaron's partner. Today we're going to be reviewing the three chapters of Unit 4. An element is a substance that cannot be separated into simpler substances. Elements are pure substances, and they only contain one type of particle. Most elements when found in nature are chemically bonded with other elements. Elements are classified by their physical and chemical properties. Examples are gold, silver, and copper. They are all shiny, good conductors of heat and electricity, and are ductile. Metals are Non-metals are dull, poor conductors of heat and electricity, and are brittle. Metalloids share properties of both metals and metalloids. Metalloids share properties of both metals and non-metals, such as being shiny but brittle at the same time. 4.2. A compound is a pure substance composed of two or more elements bonded together. In order to combine the elements needed to undergo a chemical change or reaction, a chemical change is needed to break down a compound. Compounds can be broken down into simpler substances through chemical change. If a jar contains a sample of silver and iron, it would not be considered a compound because they do not chemically bond together. A mixture is a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded together. Mixtures can be separated with physical change, such as ripping them apart. A homogeneous mixture looks like a single substance, while a heterogeneous mixture looks like two or more substances combined. A solution is when a mixture appears to be a single substance. Solutions contain a solute such as salt in salt water, which has been dissolved into a solvent, which is the water in salt water. The concentration of a solution is a measure of the amount of solute dissolved. A concentrated solution has a lot of solute, while a dilute solution has very little solute. The total amount of solute that can be dissolved is called the solubility. An alloy is a solution that is made out of metals, such as steel which is an alloy of iron and carbon. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the ATV for more future content. And if you're the classmates watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully this helped you study. Alright, bye guys. Thanks for watching.